Same location, new name. Port Covington is undergoing a rebranding and will now be known as Baltimore Peninsula. The renaming of the massive redevelopment project along the city's waterfront comes as new places to live, work, and play will soon become available. WJC is live tonight at the project site right off I 95 near Hanover Street. So, Christina Mendez is there for us and gives us a behind the scenes look. So, Christina, what does this new name represent for the people who are developing it? So the developers of this project say that this rebranding really represents a transition out with the old, in with the new, and with a focus on really representing all of what Baltimore has to offer. From a place on a map to a place where people will live, work, and have fun. Port Covington, now a thing of the past. When I say Baltimore, you say Peninsula. Baltimore. Yeah. And the new name, Baltimore Peninsula, reflecting what developers are calling the city's present. Baltimore Peninsula is a part of the city that I feel not enough people know about. And in a city that celebrates its neighborhoods and its waterfront especially, um, we're so excited to bring this new development. Developers say the project spans 235 acres with 14 million square feet of development, including residences and retail, two and a half miles of waterfront property, and 40 acres of parks plus green spaces. What this project shows is really the best of Baltimore, meaning the diversity, the culture, the talent. The willingness to take risks. Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott spoke at Tuesday's event, praising the project for being what he calls inclusive, promoting small businesses and including affordable housing. We are not trading this group for another group. We are simply enhancing the charm, the character, the overall identity of South Baltimore. But I'm happy to know that 20% of the new residential units here will be affordable. And the very first Baltimore Peninsula residents will be able to move in this coming year, 2023. For more information on this massive project, head on over to WJZ.com. I'm reporting live from Baltimore Peninsula. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.